Apple absolutely does not want you to do this with your iPhone. And here's what I mean by that. The iPhone is a device used for simplicity, but also ease of use. It's supposed to bring all of that in the best possible package as possible for the best user experience. And I'm going to be showing you how to disable something that will actually get you a way better experience because Apple has it enabled and they think otherwise. Here's what I mean. Go to your iPhone settings. And from here, you're going to want to go to general. My bad. You want to go to accessibilities, go to motion. And then from here, you'll see limit frame rate. Okay. And this is a key feature that will make your iPhone battery not only last so much longer, but on top of that, your performance will be so much better. And let me show you, my iPhone is now running at 60 frames per second, but this device was designed and the processor was designed to run at 120 frames and hertz per second. So by limiting the frame rate, we're having a processor that's way too powerful being cut in half, which means it's way less strain on the battery. Now this can only be done if you have an iPhone 13 Pro or 13 Pro Max because of the new screen sizes and the new displays. But this is what will make your device last so much longer. If you have an iPhone and it heats up way too much, by limiting the frame rate, you make the processor not need as much power, which then makes the processor not heat up as much. And the actual heat of the device can destroy the battery longevity. So if you go to your iPhone battery settings, you can see that if you have an older device, your battery life is gonna be terrible. It will say battery health will be less than 100%. And that's because your device has gone through a substantial amount of heating, and that could be through beta updates, that could be through jailbreaks, and that can also be through just living in a hot state or by keeping your phone in your car. Now, Apple recommends you have optimized battery charging turned on. This does help, but if you have a new iPhone with good battery and you don't want it to turn into those old iPhones that die after two hours of use or 10 minutes of use or even less, by limiting the frame rate, you can make your device longevity last way longer than you would expect. Quick tip from All I Talk is Tech. Thanks for watching. Peace.